welcome back to the channel with your main girls, Mel and Amanda. We are back today with our beauty empties that we have been collecting. We haven't done a video like this in a year and a half and we've been collecting empties ever since then. We both have our own collections. I have a box. And I have a bag. And we're gonna just blindly reach into the collection and yeah, give you a yay or nay with a very quick explanation. We have collected everything from skincare to hair care to makeup, so we're gonna go through it all. This is gonna be a rapid fire video because we have a lot of products to get through. So without further ado, let's, let's get, get to it. it. Let us begin. The odds of me picking out the Polish Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant was very high because there's probably three or four of these in here. This is a yes, I've repurchased it tons of times and I will, amazing for blackheads and oily skin. This is a body care product. This is the Necessaire Body Wash in the scent Eucalyptus. I would repurchase this solely because of the scent. Next! You go first this time. Okay. I, I just get so excited about my empties. Oh! This is a fire one. This is the L'Oreal Paris Dream Lengths 8 Second Wonder Water. And it really is an 8 Second Wonder Water. It's a like repairing treatment that's supposed to replace your conditioner that actually warms up on the hair and it, it feels amazing. You yeah, can't go wrong really with the like price this. of this. This is phenomenal. Definitely recommend. Would buy again. Another skincare product. This is, I have a lot of skincare. I probably go through skincare the Me most. Too. This is a skincare video. And our hair, we only do max twice a week. Yeah. So. so this is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Firming Collagen Cream. This I absolutely love, especially for the winter. I don't normally get dry skin, but there was a lot of changes in my routine. I noticed my skin got drier and I really loved using this cream at the end of the day. And I would repurchase it if my skin really needed some ultra repairing. Bada boom, bada bing. Yep. This is something that I can't not have in my routine. It's the Polish Choice Pore Reducing Toner with Niacinamide. Again, it's great if you have oily skin to reduce oil production. I need this and I have, sorry, I didn't mean to pee, but I have another one right here. So, yeah, there's a few of these, 10 out of 10. I, re I like to repurchase for me. Next. <laughs> a hair care product. Oh, you too. Me too. Cheers. <laughs> This is the Olaplex number no. nine bond protector nourishing hair serum. I absolutely love it in my hair care routine. It looks like a serum, but once you kind of emulsify it, it turns into this creamy consistency. It's Olaplex, so it's got bond building technology built into it. And it this has been a propylene glycol dimalate. Yes. Is the ingredient. You know us. We're Olaplex stands. Yeah, and it has UV and heat protectant. It's a really really great product. I would definitely repurchase it. We are so long-winded. You can tell we get so excited about but, our empties. We're trying to do one sentence. Well, I gotta say like one paragraph. Yeah, okay, well. But we want to explain why, especially when it's a little bit of a pricier product. Yeah. Should you actually repurchase it? Will we repurchase it? This is why. This is why. This is why I'm huh. Now for me, it's Eva NYC. This is the Therapy Sessions hair mask. The I'm fact that I finished baby. this an oldie but a goodie. The fact that it's such a big tub and I finished it, I mean, I think that says a lot. It is just such a wonderful mask. If you have color treated hair, it's smoothing, it's got a little bit of protein in it. It smells Super moisturizing, great. smells lovely, super affordable, can't go wrong, 10 out of 10 recommend if your hair needs therapy. Oh yeah, and it's a great price for what you get. That's what That's I said, it's yeah. phenomenal. Nice. For the stars. Oh, another hair care product. Ooh, mine skincare. This is one that I just finished that actually ignited this video because I asked you in the last video, which I explained why I'm in this cast, if you've been wondering. I explained why I was using this. Such a good gentle clarifying shampoo from Bounce Curl. Smells absolutely delicious and it is gentle. It's with pomegranate and pumpkin enzymes, which are actually exfoliating. So it's exfoliating the scalp and really nice and clarifying. But again, gentle. Would repurchase and recommend, especially for the nozzle, to get right into the scalp. And you do have a code for those, just for you. Yes, I do. I also have a discount code, so if you want to purchase, Mel 10 for you. So this is the Tata Harper Next Generation Beauty Water Lock Moisturizer. I really liked it, but I don't think I would repurchase it. It didn't Tea. wow me, and it is quite expensive, so. T.T. Harper, yeah. Like there's products that I use that are very expensive, but they wow me. If it's expensive and it doesn't wow me, then I'm not repurchasing it. I definitely have a couple of those in here, but let's see what's next. Skincare. Skincare. Sunscreen! You go first. Okay, so this is actually probably one of my favorite sunscreens. Top three for sure. It's the Elta MD Skincare UV Clear Broad Spectrum SPF 46. You bought it for me, but you kept it for you. I might have taken it back. 
So I actually purchased this when I saw it going viral because Hailey Bieber showed this in her skincare routine. Great for acne prone skin. It does not clog the pores. It has a very light tint to it as well and it gives a beautiful finish to the skin. It's also very moisturizing. What I love about it from when I've used it from you is one pump is the perfect dose. And it has high period niacinamide in it. Great for oily skin people like us and it has UVA and UVB protection. I probably gone through at least two this year and I started purchasing it in about the springtime. So that goes to show how much I use it. Now I finished using this. This is the Clinique Take the Day Off Melting Balm and I liked it. It's definitely effective, but I do have another favorite cleansing balm that um, I'll probably- It's in uh, here, yes. it's in here. So we'll get to it. Is it good? Absolutely. I would repurchase it if I'm looking for something fragrance free, but. I have other faves. We'll get to them. Reach for the stars. I got another cleansing balm. Another hair care product for me. This is, again, another Olaplex product. This is the Olaplex number eight Bond Intense Moisture Mask. Really hydrating. A little goes a long way, and I would definitely repurchase it. And there's a reason why that's your empty and not mine. I have a love hate relationship with that product. Why? I think it's okay. I mean, honestly, I'd rather use other Olaplex products and use a different moisturizing mask. For me, that one's, it's not my favorite Olaplex product, okay. personally. But for me, I got another cleansing balm here, also not my favorite. Glow Recipe Papaya Sorbet Enzyme Cleansing Balm. Again, it's the enzymes, which are great for exfoliating. They help to break down the makeup and the dead skin cells. I just find this one's way too hard to rinse off the skin. It's more moisturizing than the other ones I use, and it takes a really long time to remove, so that's why it wasn't my favorite. Next. Interesting. Okay. 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 I'll go first. This is the Curl Smith Bond Curl Rehab Salve. We love her. As love a pre-poo treatment, this is, as some would say, an Olaplex number three dupe. Now we explain why it's not quite that, but it actually In another video, you, which uh -huh. you can watch right here. Uh -huh. But it's actually more than that because this is like a bond repairing treatment that's also a protein treatment. So if you have color treated, high porosity, damaged hair like me and like you sees. I need to restock myself on that because I haven't had it in my routine in a while. I finished mine a long time ago. You know and what? I would definitely repurchase it. I'm gonna give you a sneak peek. Don't tell anyone that we told you this. This is insider information. Curlsmith is coming to Canada, that you can actually buy it in Canada. It's coming tuned. very soon. We'll let you know. Now this is another skincare product. This is the Skin Fix Barrier Plus Hold Skin on. Barrier Hold Restoring on. Gel Cream. Hold on! Because I have it too. I don't know why these products have to have such long names. It's a mouthful, but it's a like face full sure of goodness. I absolutely love, 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 love this product. The moment I first tried it, I noticed an extreme difference in my skin. Great for people who have oily skin. It's a super lightweight moisturizer. This is an expensive product that wowed us. Yeah. I repurchased it and I use it every night. I'm probably over halfway through that. Um, 10 out of 10, continue to repurchase. Absolutely so worth, worth it. Money. So good, so good. We've got a lot, we've got a rapid fire here, right? Yeah, got a rapid fire. We're not sticking to the one sentence year name. Okay, we're well, gonna try to do that. <laughs> grab the two for one. I grab the pump. I mean, Aveda Nutriplenish Leave-In Conditioner, it's a yay from me. We use it almost every day in our routine, so good. Heat protection, UV protection, detangling, smells amazing. It's also really lightweight and I think it's great for pretty much every hair type. All hair types. And this is the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen in SPF 40. You know, I don't know if I would repurchase this product. Tea. I feel like some days my skin loves it and some days my skin doesn't love it. I went through a phase. I went through a phase of loving it and now I, I don't like it. I could do with or without this product. So probably no. I probably wouldn't repurchase it unless I like really craved it, but I don't see myself craving it. There she is. This is my favorite cleansing balm. It's the Pharmacy Beauty Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. I mean, it's everything that the other ones aren't. It has a beautiful smell, it melts the makeup beautifully, and it doesn't take a long time to rinse off. So that's my favorite cleansing balm. This is the Whey Body Cleanser. Poor thing. Yeah, <laughs> I mangled the bottle. Would I repurchase it? No, didn't wow me. It was nice, but didn't wow me. This is another Necessaire product, body product, that's a body serum. This is actually great also as a face product. If you're looking for a face hydrating serum, this is amazing because for the body it might feel like it's a little expensive, but for the face, you get so much product in here. I actually really recommend this. It's fragrance-free, hyaluronic acid, honestly really, really nice. I never would have thought to use that on my face. Oh no, 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 the real skincare queens, like they know, you can use this on your face and it's even better for your face. For your body, 
It's too expensive, unless, you know, treat yourself. So another skincare product, this is the Sunday Riley CEO 15% Vitamin C Brightening Serum. This is an expensive product. I will start off by saying that. It's definitely a treat for the skin, but I personally really do like it, and I would repurchase it. It's a vitamin C product, but it almost looks like a moisturizer, so if you have dry skin, I think you would really like this in your routine. Vitamin C is a staple for me in my routine to help brighten the skin. Also, I get a lot of dark spots from picking at my face, so this helps me minimize that. Great for acne scarring and anti-aging. We'll definitely be repurchasing this, and I have repurchased it since. She's a vitamin C freak. I'm a vitamin Honestly. C freak, for sure. Okay. I have got the Moroccan Oil Color Depositing Mask, which actually you had used mostly. I think we kind of just left it here. That's why it's in my empties. What did we think of this? I really like it. It's very moisturizing. It's a Moroccan oil product, so you know it's got the argan oil. Yeah. Very nourishing. It works as a deep conditioning treatment at the same time as color depositing. It this one specifically is the color coral. It was a very faint color on Amanda's blonde. If you are very, very light blonde, then you'll see more of the effects of this. But honestly, because it wasn't a super strong effect, it's nice if you're looking for a temporary quick fix to last yeah. two, maybe three washes. Not even. Because Just to get a little hint of color. For you, that's what it worked for. Yeah. I would definitely recommend that if you're looking for a really good color depositing mask. Mm -hmm. This is another body care product. This is the Way Body Cream. I won't be repurchasing it. Again, it didn't wow me, didn't blow me away. So for that reason, I won't be repurchasing it. For these reasons, I am out. Yes. Let's do it like the sharks. Okay. <laughs> Let's be ruthless. I know what this is. Because it's a pump. This is our pump. This is the Verb X Mains by Mel Curl Foaming Gel that we created over the last two years. If you didn't know, this is our baby. We built this product from the ground up. So obviously I'm gonna say I would repurchase it, but truly if you're looking for a really versatile product that works on every single curl type, wavy, curly, coily, it's hydrating, it's a gel that foams. You can actually brush it through your hair. It's great for refreshing. It won't give you crazy crunch. It's curl enhancing. Honestly, works well in humidity. Also, I have a code. So if you want to use the code MEL, M-E-L-L-C-F-G, then you can get a discount on Verb products. I have a few other Verb empties in here as well, which maybe I'll just dip which into. Which I conveniently Oh my God, there's also a well. Verb empty. Yes, yeah, so this is the Verb Body Lotion. This is a very nice, lightweight, fragrance-free body care option if you're looking for something like that. This was very, very nice. Although I do prefer moisturizers with fragrance. You can also buy this and hold, hold this. And I got another one of these. This is the Verb Curl Leave-In, very hydrating leave-in. It also has UV protection. So good. We love these, obviously. Wow, we are just body and skin free. Now <laughs> this is a body cream that we do repurchase frequently. It's the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream from Sol de Janeiro. Holy grail. I mean, do we need to say anymore? It's the best smelling body cream ever. It's just delicious salted caramel, warmness, Beautiful. Yeah, if you want to smell good and also look Give really your glowy, glow. oh, that's the one without feeling sticky. We already went through this. Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid. I will be and always will repurchase this product. Let me just take my other empties of that yeah, out. I'm going to take out my empties of the Brazilian Bum Bum Bum. Uh, the <laughs> travel one too. I do have the travel one. If you haven't yet tried out the product before, I always do recommend you picking up the travel size if you can. Now that the holidays are coming up. There's so many good travel size and gift sets that I personally love to purchase just to try new things without committing to the full size. So you save a little bit and you get to try it out before you commit. Next! More body care. This I just finished. This body wash lasted me longer than any body wash I've ever used. The Moroccan Oil Bergamot Fresh Shower Gel. I love bergamot. It's fresh. It's like bergamot, eucalyptus. It's it's giving the eucalyptus spa vibes, spa, but spa, spa vibes bergamot, 100% recommend. And it doesn't leave your skin feeling really dry afterwards. Like if I skip moisturizer that day, I won't. You're okay. Yeah, I won't feel stripped. I'm in. This is another skincare product. Dr. Zian Times Murad Retinol Youth Renewal Eye Mask. Again, I don't know why these names have to be so long. I really like them because they're super large and they actually have immediate results after you use it. I only treat myself to them once in a while though because they are a little bit pricier, but I definitely would recommend it. Especially if I have a very important event. Probably repurchase them. I have more at home actually. You should use them. I do. That's rude. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to get you to say. That's rude. 
This one was okay for me as a body cream. It's the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Dream. Now it does have AHAs, which is nice and gentle exfoliating. It smells like watermelon, so it's delicious. I didn't like the pump. It didn't wow me, so for me, no thank you, no thank you. This, I feel like a lot of people go crazy over. It's the Kale Plus Green Tea Spinach Vitamin Superfood Cleanser Beauty from YouTube to people. people. This did not wow me. I will start off by saying that. I did like, however, how it's a really big bottle. I think I used it for like the full year and a half since our last empties video, I swear, because it took me so long to finish. That's dramatic. I swear. Okay, no, I don't know if it lasts me the whole year. <laughs> It lasted me a long time. However, it didn't wow me and I know it is a little bit more on the pricier end So for those reasons, I will not be repurchasing it. This is my Paula's Choice Skin Clearing Treatment. It's the 2.5 benzoyl peroxide treatment that is responsible for clearing up my acne. That's all I will say. If you have acne, this is gonna help kill bacteria that causes acne. So twice a day, amazing. This is the Nutriplenish Daily Moisturizing Treatment. It's the stronger version of this. Yeah, so it's, leave -in spray. it's more of a cream, super, super hydrating, love the smell. The Aveda Nutriplenish line has my heart to begin with. Such a great line in general, and this specifically when my hair is super dry, great leave-in. Nutriplenish has become my favorite Aveda line. I said it, I said it. Better than be curly. I said it, oh I said it. Let's see if I can get some freaking hair care in here. Another body care. We go through a lot of body care. Okay, it was good. Honestly, the first day beauty body care. This is the lotion, but also their KP scrub. Both very, very good. This is the smoothing body lotion with 10% AHA. It's fragrance free. I would use this over the other AHA moisturizer um, because, yeah, it's just more versatile. I would repurchase. This is the Dr. Dennis Growth Advanced Retinol Texture Renewal Serum. I absolutely loved it and I would repurchase it because it did really wow me. Okay. I don't know if you've ever used a skincare product where like you actually look forward to using it. I look forward to using that every single night in my skincare routine. My skin felt so plump. Great product. All right, let's get some hair care in here. I got it. This is the AG Curl Fresh Definer. Our favorite cream. Honestly, amazing. Favorite's dramatic. Honestly, a favorite. A favorite, a favorite up, for up sure. Up there. It's such a good styling cream. As a one and done even. Uh, and is curl enhancing. We do have a discount code for AG as well. Guido20 will get you 20% off. That is a holy grail in my routine as well. This was as seen in last year's updated fall hair routine. So if you know, you know, and if you want to see that, check out the video. I pulled out this. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This is the travel size. I had bought this for all the traveling we did this year and I finished it. This is definitely one of my favorite setting sprays and I will repurchase it and I will refill this for traveling. I think I like the Vitamin C Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray even better than the original because it's so refreshing and you can just reapply it and just bring your makeup back it to life. It does give a really beautiful glow to the skin as well. And it smells really good. It smells like oranges, Vitamin C, so we love that. Oh, okay. This is a makeup brush cleaner, which is my favorite makeup brush cleaner from the Sephora collection. It's Detox Deep Cleansing Brush and Sponge Shampoo, and I have repurchased it, so I will continue to. This is the Isle of Paradise Medium Glow Clear Self Tanning Mousse. I will not be repurchasing this only because I prefer the cream that they have over this. I feel like it's a lot easier to distribute and it also moisturizes your skin at the same time. So if you're looking for something that's going to give a really nice, beautiful, buildable glow, buildable glow, it's more easy to use. Absolutely. I would recommend picking up the self tanning butter, I believe it's called, but I really do like Isle of Paradise in general for self tanning. I, I use a lot of their products, including the Isle of Paradise high glow self tan serum. Again, if you're looking for a really nice buildable glow, I definitely recommend this and I will be repurchasing this, especially because now we're headed into winter and it also has hyaluronic acid in it. So it's a great addition into the skincare routine as well. Get this girl a sponsorship. I'm just saying. <laughs> Next. We got a hair care product. Oh Sorry. We got a hair care product. This is the Bounce Curl Moisture Balance Leave-In Conditioner. So good. One of my favorite leave-in conditioners. So smoothing, truly just moisturizing. There's no protein. Amazing. Smells amazing. Love it. Another Bounce Curl Empty. 10 out of 10 recommend. Would be pretty. Moving on. Body care products again. This is so much Sol de Janeiro. Bomb Dia Bright Cream. I have that on my body right now. You can smell it. So this is infused with renewing fruits AHAs, which helps kind of lightly exfoliate. exfoliate the skin. And it also has vitamin C. You know, I love vitamin C. So if you're looking for something brightening, like specifically, I do have this birthmark here, 
works really beautiful over that area as well just to help brighten it and then this is a travel size of the Sol de Janeiro Coca Cabana cream I think this is my least favorite cream out of the entire line this is solely just for hydration where the other products have other benefits and it smells like pistachio the scent is beautiful but I personally feel like the other moisturizers are much more hydrating I have to say I know that you've been wearing your sunscreen and keeping up with your vitamin C based on how light this is yeah this, like post summer it's probably never been that it's light. It's never been this light because I have been, I never used to wear body care and I'm so surprised to see all these body care products that are finished. I never took care of my skin and my body because I didn't think it was necessary at all. But now it's like a ritual in my routine and I actually really look forward to putting mm -hmm. moisturizer on. So yeah, that's why I've been through so many. I'm going to help you with, through your box because we're going to be here all day. Okay, good. Um, I had another one of these. So that's number three of the pore reducing toner from Paula's Choice. Another makeup brush cleaner. Clean your damn makeup brushes because they're nasty. I'm talking to you. I know I never clean my makeup brushes. This Bliss toner is something I use in between not having my Paula's Choice. Niacinamide is the key ingredient in here that's gonna help to reduce oil production throughout the day and minimize pores, but I like the Paula's Choice better, personally, but I mean, I'm repurchasing my Paula's Choice. Paula's by choice. Here we have, this is the Eva NYC Main Magic 10 in 1 Primer, UV protection, heat protection, frizz protection, 10 in 1 benefits. Uh, we love this, it's super, super affordable. So if you're not using anything to prime your hair, at least do, do this. Or you could also use it on your dry hair. I love Love to refresh my hair with it especially in the summer because again it gives that uv protection and it helps smooth everything over and it gives waterless. shine back to the hair and then this is the curl Smith double cream if you're looking for a really hydrating moisturizer yeah and we have a discount code on curl Smith as well let's compare these two acne cleansers we've got the murad acne control clarifying cleanser now that one has 1.5 percent salicylic acid which is significant this is the Paula's Choice Pore Normalizing Cleanser with 0.5% salicylic acid, so it's a little bit more gentle. Again, I'm a Paula's Choice girl. This one's more gentle on the skin. That one has a really strong tea tree scent. I think it's too aggressive. Even if you have a lot of acne, you can't use that every day, twice a day. Ag agitate your skin. 100%. So a little too aggressive. This is better for daily. And my second one is in my shower right now, so I, I do repurchase. Okay, and I so like that it. one over this one. For me, I would say. K18, Allure Beauty just announced their uh, their awards. And yeah, K18 won something. I can see why. After doing a very thorough review, which we shared earlier this year, this has become uh, a holy grail. It's phenomenal. The science does work. I, do. I used it when lightening a man's hair. And I never want to do a lightening service on hair without it, uh, is, is the attitude. So K18 leave-in. Hair mask, expensive, worth it. I actually had two K18s uh, because they're very small and mighty, but a little bit does go a long way and worth it. Going back to the Allure Awards, let us know if you want to see Mel review Ooh. all of the hair care products that were picked during the awards. I would love to see what your take on all the products are. Kind of like the Naturally Curly video that we did, I reviewing so. the 2021 best I hair think, care products of I the year. I think so. I would really like to see it, but let us know if you would like to see it too. Next. Verb Ghost Oil, I'm almost done my other one. So this is obviously a holy grail. It's our most used hair serum, 10 out of 10, recommend. This is the Super Goop Play SPF 50. A little sticky. sticky. A little bit greasy. Okay, so not repurchasing. I kind of used it because I had it. And this is the Paula's Choice Oil Free Moisturizer. I really liked it as a moisturizer, but I have a new favorite moisturizer and it's the Skin Fix. And okay. also that's what I use every night. This is the Paula's Choice Boost C15 Super Booster with vitamin C and vitamin E. Considered to be a great vitamin C, but I have a new favorite and it's from Pharmacy Beauty and I think I'm almost finished it, oh. but the Pharmacy Beauty 10% Waterless is amazing, so I like that one. We're gonna hold up the rest of my Paula's Choice skincare. <laughs> Obviously, there's been a lot of it. I would repurchase the 10% Azelaic Acid Booster. I'm using it again, loved it. I do like this 25% AHA plus 2% BHA exfoliating peel, but I don't do too many masks. I only reach for it if I feel like I really need it. Then okay. these two sunscreens are a yes. They're the exact same formula in different bottles. Okay, oh, I have an empty of that as well. This is the Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit, and I will not be repurchasing. Why? Let me tell you why. There is no differentiation between the two sides, but there are two different caps. So if you accidentally put the short cap that's supposed to go on the spoolie on the pencil side, you're boom, it. you're breaking it. I Half of this pencil went to waste. 
And so for those reasons, I am severely out. This is the Zitsika Micro Dark Patch for the Deep Newfound Zit. I didn't like these. I thought they were okay, but... They didn't want me. I were, wouldn't repurchase them. They were okay. Let me know if you have a really good sticker dot pimple patch recommendation because I haven't found one that I've really, really loved. Okay, these are both First Aid Beauty. This was another oil minimalizing toner that I used when I didn't have my Paula's Choice. This one has salicylic acid though, and I didn't like it as much as my 2% BHA toner, so that was okay, but I do really like the eye cream. This is the Hydrating Eye Cream with Hyaluronic Acid. Which was mine, but Mel stole from me and never gave it back. Kind of both of our empties. You have emptied it and I finished it. Yeah, it does. I'm pretty sure it has like like cucumber in it or something, so it's, it's really cooling. cooling There's on the caffeine skin. in it, so it kind of awakens your under eyes. Great for the morning. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful eye cream. And this is the Bioderma Sensibio. Sensibio. Sensibio H2O. I, I will answer this question for you. You're going to be repurchasing it because you have been repurchasing it for the last million years. It's my favorite micellar water. If sometimes I'm too lazy to use a cleansing balm, I will reach for that. It's also the only micellar water that doesn't burn my eyeballs. So the Glow Recipe Plum Plump Hyaluronic Serum. Not my favorite hydrating serum. So no. Not for me, but I don't really have a hyaluronic acid serum that I use. I was also using the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Hydrating Serum. This was better. It's thicker. I don't know. I haven't found a good hyaluronic... I don't use a hyaluronic acid serum me in my routine. I don't use one either. either. Not anymore. The Ordinary Caffeine Solution. I used to use this, and I did like it, but then I saw someone mention, I'm pretty sure it was a skincare professional on TikTok or Instagram, saying to be careful with using caffeine solutions because they can dry out the skin. Although they do reduce darkness and puffiness, you gotta be careful because you don't wanna dry out the skin. And I would use this primarily under my eyes, so I stopped using it. What you gotta do for you? This is from the Inky List. It is their succinic acid treatment. This is a spot treatment I was using. It was good. I liked it. I know Cassandra Bankson reviewed it, and like I think I bought it because of her. And I like I think I would get it again, but I now have clear skin. <laughs> Thank you. And this is the Elia Beauty True Skin Serum Concealer. I used this and I thought it was okay. It's okay. Yeah, I wouldn't repurchase it. And I'm out of empties. We went through everything Here. over the last year and a half. This is pretty much everything we've gone through. Although now I'm realizing there's a few things missing. A few things that maybe I didn't save. I think I've been collecting for longer than a year and a half. This can't be right. It's a lot. Do we have a problem? Let us know. We do share a lot though. We share everything. We share a lot. There you have it. I hope that you guys liked today's video and that you found it interesting. Again, Mel did break her wrist, so we will be pivoting on the- Pivot! Pivot! <laughs> we will be pivoting the content on this channel for the next few weeks in order to compensate for her injury. Last week, we shared how she styles her hair with one hand. Let us know what you want us to do next. So make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already. And stay tuned for next week's video. This has been your main girls, Mel and Amanda. And we're out. Peace. I will be repurchasing as well. <laughs> I, I didn't even say it. Was, was that English? No, it wasn't. We need coffee? No. I don't know. I find this one is not as... Yeah, you're sweating. I'm, we're almost done. We're I'm, almost am I melting? Done. I almost dabbed my face with my cast. That would be really bad. Okay. Hold on. My scalp is sweating. Okay, let me... We're almost done. We're almost done, I know. Okay, here. My one hand is so sticky. Ugh. It's disgusting. <laughs>